and that is the presidential post. Well, for first, the stage is set for the vice president's post as the opposition has now picked up vet uh, veteran leader, former governor of Rajasthan, Margaret Alva, as their candidate. The decision was taken unanimously by the 17 opposition parties after a meeting at the NCP chief's residence. The Ahmadmi Party and Trinamool Congress, however, have skipped the meeting hence indicating the possibility of a crack in the so-called united opposition. Margaret Alba is going to be facing the NDA's choice of West Bengal Governor Jagdeep Dhankar. Nikhil is back with us on this. So Nikhil's stage is set. Though it's not a worry really for the NDA because they do have a numbers. But like the presidential polls, would they also look at a split within the opposition for the vice presidential elections as well? Well, uh, clearly, Pallavi, and apart from it, there is an uh, interesting incident uh, from the Shiv Sena party as well. Today they were part of the opposition party meeting where they have extended their support uh, of the unanimous decision which has been taken by the 17 political parties excluding TMC and Aam Army Party. He has clearly said that we, uh, you know, we have extended the support, the Shiv Sena has extended the support to the, uh, you know, uh, presidential candidate from the NDA, Draupadi Murmu, because many of the uh, you know, people are there from the same community in the state of Maharashtra. Many of the MLAs and MPs are also there from uh, her community. This is the reason why Shiv Sena has extended their, uh, you know, support to her. But when it comes to the VP candidate, they are going to extend the uh, their support, the official Shiv Sena support to the unanimous decision which has been taken in the name of Margaret Elwa. So this is the interesting point uh, which is coming out. But as per the further details, if we talk about uh, Margaret Elwa, she has been governor. Uh, of four states, including Gujarat, uh, Goa, Rajasthan, and uh, Uttarakhand as well. And she has been the cabinet minister as well. Currently, she is a part of Indian National Congress. But soon, uh, we are going to see her resigning from the official position of the Congress party. And so, these are the details currently with us. Pallavi. All right, Nikhil. We're just going to go across to some of the reactions.